Alright, another dream. Don't know where I'm going. But, welcome back everybody. To another part of Nine's Woods. And I think we might almost be done with the game, because... I think in the last part we ran into the guy. Whoa. That's really beautiful. That's great visuals. Wow. I, I love these kind of visuals. What is that, a cat? Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me... And I am not this God. This God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then. And here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world and I think I was on a train. It was like a town. It's all... Uh, I lost it. Okay, so a great beast is walking through the sands and they are climbing into the air and now they are making a terror and now they're gone and now you are here. Uh, what? Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging places and echoes of lives, and they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to the sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible, and I am showing you now. On the, what is this, microscopic level? Ugh. Oh god, oh god. They are blind. But they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air. Closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I'm tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always glowing. Or growing. Between the stars. And I'm seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? What about my home and what about my friends? Soon, they are dying. Soon, they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then, why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. 
The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Bye. Am I gonna wake up? Is this a new chapter? Or am I just gonna wake up? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wake up. Okay, wake up B. Wait, no, I'm not B, I'm May. Sorry, I haven't played this game in a long time. My bad. Echoes, I got an achievement. Anything new? Yes. Oh fuck, I forgot B's voice. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in the town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey dude. The old snap snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away oh, message. Planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. I feel like I read that before. Let's go down. Talk to mom, I guess. Can I talk to mom? Is she here? Yeah, she's here. Honey, you okay? Ugh. Mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey. Is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. Despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. And so if you're pregnant... No, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come with to us with these... Or this... These, I, could do, I couldn't read it. My bad. Kind of late, guys. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. Anything else? You know, if you did have a baby, okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited for grandbabies. That's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can find um, Angus. That's his name. Oh, right. Selmers. Hey, man. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like... He went through the dryer on the wrong scenting. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You wanna hear a poem to cheer you up? Yeah, of course. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Huh. Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Thank you, Summers. I don't bother talking to that guy anymore. But I want to see if... Uh, what's his name is up there? Yeah. He is... There we go. May! Mr. Chazagoff. You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Are we to see some stars? Yes, of course. Come have a look. Ugh, oh, I'm blind. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Here we go. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. <gasps> you know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head. Now she was never seen again? Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. Huh. Hmm. 
Disappearing isn't the same as dying. You probably went somewhere else completely. I did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. There we go. I think I got one. Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. I knew a guy named Cole once. That close? It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was a from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up. Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible. Those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up to into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Oof. That's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. How do I access? Okay. Cole and Adina. Very cool. Hey, B. Hey. You're right. You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. Want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ooh. What are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you want to do, B. Oh, I didn't think that was actually going to work. Because I feel like we're straying off from the main story. But it's B. Come on. So what kind of party is this? Uh, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Trans world order give them how? Together? Yeah. It's actually really great. She, she's got a great scream. I'm sold. Two, is it, I, I don't know if it's together or two goth. Two goth. Hey, B, say it. Two goth. Two goth. Two goth. Two goth. Anyway, this is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you. I'll go into secret parties and shit. They're not secret, eh? Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so. Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are the worth the trip. I hope my B voice is okay. If not, like, lining up with what I used to do her voice as. Because I don't remember. I think I went here once, in Girl Scouts, to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why do you start talking to me? What even? Why do you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry. I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world? Sorry. Sorry. Alright, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared out of down here. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. 
Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. That's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Papa Tease. Yo, is this a strip club? Because uh, I, I, ain't, I ain't about that life. That's why you gotta take these seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. You think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Huh. Hey. Hey. This is May. Hey, May. Yeah, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Wright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow. What are you doing out here? Long oh, story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay. I'll be right there. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, man. Oh wait, oops. I forgot your voice. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, man? Can like anyone here dance? What if you have a feeling that May can't dance? Wait, I don't have to press any buttons, do I? Yo ho ho! Sick moves! Let's go! Do I have to press anything? Yeah, I can press buttons. Yeah, we'll copy B. Just vibing. Just vibing in this environment. Hey, I think those guys are back over here. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, well, we'll be like 10 feet away with an eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any, B. I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Dancing is hard if you want to do it professionally, I would say. But easy if you just want to like go with the vibe, you know? Hey you. Hey you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Um May Borowski. Rowski, nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I will wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, May Borowski? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. One called this dropout, it goes to chase me, and I recently met God. Let's go with this one. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, it's just a regular bass guitar. Yep, vampire science. It's just a regular bass guitar. Nothing special about it. Got it for my 16th birthday. It's got blood on it. Is that a problem with the vampires? Yeah, they totally covered that shit. It's pretty cool. Huh, I guess. I guess I'm so used to the awesome stuff. I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh, really? Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. Uh, well, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. What the fuck? Oh wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. It's a good idea. Rowski. Uh-huh. That's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm okay. Need to go tell friend. Location. Uh-huh. 
I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. <laughs> Did he drove me? No. Nah, let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> oh, hey man. This is Chris. Hey Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, oh, she's okay. Did she tell you that we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah, uh-huh. Like, Memento Mori and shit? What's that? Yeah, yeah, sick transit glory nerd. What's that? Remember you are gonna die. Jeez, does anyone need help with that? <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Huh. Well, a book you liked? I like ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. Uh, let's go with I like ghost stories. Wow, oh, fuck. Of course it leads to that. My granddad died and left me with an apple crate full. Ha ha ha. about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. His mom is dead too. Is B okay? He's laughing. May. May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. When my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Are you gonna laugh? Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? Poly science. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that area? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty much materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Haha. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B. B. Check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Haha. <laughs> May, you wanna dance some more? I have a feeling she has a thing for Chaz, if that's his name, so yes. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so. Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. He'll speak their language, get his free slices. He doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice. Nah, let's let's keep it light. Let me, let's keep it smooth. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Haha, <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, he's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Ha <laughs> She's laughing a whole lot. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. Me and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way from here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I uh... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, be here... Oh fuck. We fucked it up. Drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. Huh. Huh. Ah. Uh, fuck. Of course we had to ruin it. We wait. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Let's go. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she, she's gone knows where. If something happens to her, I'll personally punch her teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. 
You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Oh, oh god, okay. Back at school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. It's good to know I was right. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. You can get to the river quick on the roofs. And how do we fuck everything up? Hey, move. What? Move it. Got dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You're not jumping on my car. Well, I need you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over with your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Maybe break your spine. I wonder what B was trying to do. My guess is that she was trying to get out of Possum Springs, and that was like somewhat her ticket. Get with a guy that's kind of rich. Oh, B's here. B! There you are. Are you alright? No, we fucked up. Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. You don't even know what. This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? You'd have been like mugged or something. Let's go. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. Oh, it's just stupid anyway. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? Huh. It's so friggin' sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. I like, really, really think hard about it. If I'm lucky. As I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. But, uh, that's kind of sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids living there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up. But my dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know about any of this? I work hard. I take care of what's left of my family. My life is slipping away. I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store. That stupid town. I'm just... I'm doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know? You give up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave? Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. But why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week. Ghosts and shit. I make God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Uh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're, like, the best available friends. Huh. Oh, God. What river is this? Red Winder. 
all the iron in the water is the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. It's so like... Actual question. You think we'd be friends if we weren't like... Stuck together in the same town? That we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like uh... This is just... Hmm. What's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something. It keeps moving away in the, to the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Huh. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement. We call life Beatrice. Thanks. That's uplifting. You want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to you another one sometime. Or I won't screw it up. Uh... I learned to talk good. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good. Thanks. B. You should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B. I am, like, more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're, like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely... Hmm. Good person? I'll take it. You know what? The Fort Lucene Fish Mountain would say... What? Beatrice Sanatello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A, v a revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap. I didn't get her info. Oh. This super cute girl I met at the party. Oh, fuck. That was a girl. Oof. We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah. We need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Mayday, BB. Suck together, don't suck together. Very nice. Hi. Hello. Oh well, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I could talk about it. I'm gonna have to start talking sometime, kidding. I wish I could. Why can't you? Uh, I don't even know. That's how it is sometimes. But it's not always a great reason. I know. It's just... I've been having these dreams. And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. I feel really real. And I think something really bad is gonna happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like... Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had a, that big fight with mom. Kidding. It's okay. And, and, and... Shh. Kidding. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Garbo and Malloy. Malloy. Garbo. Everything about, uh, you know, the afterlife. Oh, have a life as it is. Ha ha ha. Uh, God. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you churchgoer, churchgoer Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invited, <laughs> invented religion yet. Jesus Christ. You're making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. And have a church without potlucks. Yeah, could, Malloy. But it would be... A whoopah. 
Jesus Christ. I'm so bad. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Dude, man, this just gets weird every time. Alright, let's end the episode here. Uh, let's check the emails and then we'll end it. Let's see. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Dance at a party. Right around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an opposite night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very, very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really, really nice, May. That yeah, you did that. Oh, uh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I'll never go away. You'll never be get rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Very sweet. But I'm going to end it there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to. And I hope everyone has a good night, good morning, or whatever it is for anyone. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.